Emily Scott, thank you so much for joining me for Beyond the Pitch, where we're looking to normalize conversation about finance through obviously just speaking about it. So you grew up in London, correct? Yes, I grew up uh, in Leytonstone in London. Okay, and what was that like? Yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, my claim to fame is that I was born in the same hospital as David Beckham. Oh, wow. I like to tell everyone that. <laughs> uh, big David Beckham fan growing up. Um, yeah, I moved out. I live in Essex now. Okay. Um, we moved out when I was younger, like five, six. Um, do you, and do you have so. any siblings? Yeah, I've got two brothers and a sister. When you were growing up, was there ever talk about saving, investing, bank accounts, etc.? Was that a topic of conversation or did you guys shy away from that? Uh, no, we were pretty open about things like that. Um, I had, I remember going with my dad to the bank, um, we had like a little book and I could see like how yeah. much money I had in the account and... Um, Your pocket like, money. Yeah, whatever, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, only small amounts really, but you, of course. Um, I learned about interest and how, um, you know, you, you might have earned £50 over the year or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it was, I, we always really to spoke about it a little bit, I suppose. Very cool. So now that obviously you are a grown up and you have a career or multiple <laughs> careers, we'll get into in a second of your own. Grown um, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> so as a rugby player, especially as a female rugby player, you wear multiple hats. So you have multiple jobs, you have multiple streams of income. So for yourself, can you just elaborate on not only are you a rugby player, but what else uh, are you doing there career wise? So I am a rugby player mm -hmm. for Harlequins. Um, I'm also a PE teacher mm -hmm. in a secondary school. Um, I also coach, uh, so I coach a championship women's team and I've recently over lockdown uh, set up my own coaching business mm -hmm. so um, specialising in one-to-one -one coaching, um, kicking, specialist coaching, that kind of thing. Let me just say right off the bat, that is a crazy amount of hats <laughs> to be wearing. How do you find uh, you're able to juggle each of those things and you know each source of income, etc.? Uh, I have to be pretty organised, yeah. um, I have to be really on top of uh, what's what, what I'm doing each week, um, but yeah, it's important. I, I mean, I do it ultimately because I love it and I want to do it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty busy and you yeah, have to be on top of what's coming in, what's mm -hmm. coming out and things. So going back to finance a little bit, so you mentioned before we went on air here that you recently did make a big investment yourself. Can you just elaborate a bit on what you bought? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, over uh, lockdown I bought a house. Awesome. Um, I say a house, it is a flat technically, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with it. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Got my little two bed Riverside place. I'm quite awesome. pleased with. That is exciting. So you are a very decorated player. Lots of wins under your belt there. Uh, when you have had, you know, a big win or something really great happen, has there been anything, any guilty purchase that you will spend a little bit of money on as a reward for the hard work to get to that uh, big win? I wish I could say there was. I mean, I sound quite boring to say that <laughs> there isn't really anything, but uh, I've always just, I've always saved my money. Mm -hmm. So um, pretty much, yeah, anything like that, any bonuses or, or anything would go straight into my savings account mm -hmm. pretty much. There is investing when it comes to finance, but there's also investing when it comes to your body. So what have you done to be able to take care of or invest in your body, especially in light of your recent talks about your battle with rheumatoid arthritis? Yeah, I think um, I've had to definitely invest in, in my body, you know, um, as a professional athlete, you know, I've, I've been playing rugby since I was 10 years old, so it definitely can take its toll. Um, and then, yeah, with the arthritis on top of that, I've always had to be really careful with with how I manage it and, and, and how I do things. But more than anything, I think I've just adapted, you know, whether that's in the gym, out on the training pitch. Um, I listen to my body a lot more. Um, if I can't do something, I won't push myself through it. Actually, I'll take a step back and realize I might not be able to do that today, but I can do it tomorrow, mm -hmm. so. Very yeah. cool, very cool. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me, Emily. Amazing, thank you.